the hell are you doing? Like, what are you really out here doing? Like, what, what's your point? You know, what's your purpose? What are you here to do? Like, what did God call you to do? So I got my brows on. Kinda did a good job. It's a good brow day, so I'm excited. Yeah, Mac sent some new eyeshadows. It's from their um, Powder Kiss collection. So I wanna try these out. I wanna neutral out today. I got a new mic. Hopefully it does me great and it does not mess me up. Um, it like hooks onto my shirt here. There it is, hooked up on my shirt. So let's hope that it's picking up. It's not rubbing against my shirt. It's not moving too much and it's doing what I need it to do. So start off, I already got my brows on. I'm gonna be taking the um, Beauty Bakery. This is the shade um, 10, Butter Back Off. And it's a three in one concealer. So it's full coverage. It also says that it sets too, but I don't know. I always, I still set it. But it pretty, it's pretty good. And the color, I like the color of this. But I'm just going to use it to prime these eyelids so that my shadows pop. And just start off with a base, like a clear base. Smooth base. Or just a, a blank, a blank canvas. Y'all know. Y'all know what I mean. I'm going to take this pretty eyeshadow it says wet cloud and it's just like a i don't know i can't really explain it's just kind of like a cream so i'm just gonna take that put that up in my face but man i'm telling you 2020 has really like it is not for the week at all you gotta be mentally um in tune you have to be spiritually in tune physically in tune because there's just I mean, we just have to, we just have to continue to stay healthy, take care of our minds, our bodies, and our souls, because it's just, it's just, it's just a lot going on, and I mean, it's so much to take in, you know, because it's like one thing after another, but we just have to continue to stay positive and to continue to take care of ourselves and to take care of one another, too, you know, continue to just spread love and be positive, spread positivity. And just know, like, you know, whatever you believe in, whatever you practice, just know that you're good. You know, God is going to take care of you. That's just what it is. So I just took this color and put it in my crease, and it turned out pretty good. I like the color kind of that it gave. But this has been, 2020 has just been a it's been eye-opening on so many levels for me. It has caused me to, it's not caused me to, it's forced me to sit down, be still, and like figure out what the hell are you doing? Like, what are you really out here doing? Like, what? what's your point? You know, what's your purpose? What are you here to do? Like, what did God call you to do? Like, what are you supposed to be doing? And that is what it has, and that's what it's forced me to focus on. So I've been focusing on that. That's why I've been kind of like slacking with my content because I'm like, I'm just not about to be just taking cute pictures and posting them. I want there to be purpose behind my content. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just, I don't know. I am just being very intentional with everything that I'm doing. And everything in my life, I'm being very intentional. Like the people I allow in my space, the people that I follow on Instagram, what I watch, what I listen to, um, who I watch, who I listen to, just like so many things, what I eat, all that, like what I read, it's just, I've been so just intentional about all of that and just really trying to better myself as a woman, uh, a mother, a sister, just a daughter, a friend, everything, because I was watching Moesha and, uh, Look at me talking. See, this is why I can't do talk dudes because <laughs> it's, they're going to be too long and I'm not going to finish my makeup. But real quick, I was watching Moesha and I think maybe it was like the first or second episode of the first season. And she said, uh, you can have friends, but not know how to be one. Like you can have you can have so many friends, but are you a are you a good friend? Like, and that was so true. I'm like, dang. Like I know 
I mean, it's just like so true. Like, are you being a good friend? Yeah, you have so many friends. So it might seem like, oh, yeah, I got a lot of friends. I'm a good person. I got, you know, this and that. No. Are you being a good friend? Are you showing the same? Are you reciprocating the same energy that your friends are giving you? Like, are you putting 100% back into your friends like your friends are putting to you? I had no idea that somebody lived over with a motorcycle, but yeah. He's just riding through. But yeah, like that really stuck out to me. I'm like, whoa, that is so true. You can have so many friends, but are you a friend? You can have so many friends and not be one. Like, I was like, hold on, man. Huh? What? But that is so true. I've just, I don't know, I've opened my eyes up to just so much. I, I'm i the type of person that I just, you know, I see something and I see something in somebody and I don't want to see that. So I'll find the good in that person or that situation and kind of sweep up under the rug the, um, so to say, bad stuff. And it always comes back around and falls back on me because I should have just taken the signs that I, that I was presented at first and just chalked it up and took it for what it was but instead i'm like no i want to find the good in this situation or this person and it always comes back around that when god gives you those signs and you ask for those signs and god gives you those signs why do we feel the need <laughs> to continue doing like if we say god um you know, show me who's really for me or just place positive people in my life. I want to be around like-minded people. You know, if there are people in my circle that are not for me, please remove them. You know, things like that. We pray and we speak those things. But when it happens and we are presented like we see clear as day that this person or this situation is not for us and we should not be in this situation. We don't have to be in this situation. But we continue to ignore the signs and keep ourselves in those unwanted situations or situations that we should not be in when we ask for signs to be removed out of those situations to have those people removed out of our lives why are we still it's like we punish our i don't know I, i'm not gonna say punish ourselves but it's like we just we torture ourselves we hurt ourselves it's like we put ourselves through more than what we should have to go through i don't know how to say it but y'all know what i'm trying to say but it's just like why why do we do that I don't know, but I guess it's just human nature to do that because we all want to see the good in people or the good in every situation. But sometimes it is what it is and not everybody's for you and not, you know, and, and that's just how it is. You know, you can still love that person from a distance or, um, you know, keep that person in your, I don't know. But yeah, I always say you are still in my book, just not in this chapter. Moving on. So yeah, I'm taking this color and I'm putting it in my crease. <laughs> taking this color and I'm putting it in my crease. Um, just because I want to do like a neutral kind of look because it still is summer, even though it doesn't feel like it outside right now. It is like 70 degrees. Nine, uh, 70 degrees with like a little, um, it's kind of chilly outside. So speaking of chilly, I'm going to take this color. It's called Devoted to Chili. And it is like a, kind of like a burnt orange color. So I'm going to take that, but I'm going to use a very thin, I'm going to use a thin um, blending brush. I'm going to just put that in my crease just halfway and like in the outer V. And I'm just feathering that into the other color, just blending it all together. Let me put a little more. Man, I done ordered a dag on telescope, and every I see, I see the um, FedEx guy coming. I'm like, is that my telescope? But I think it's not gonna be here until the six, with this, which is tomorrow. So I'm gonna be patient. But I am so excited to get this damn telescope because the moon was out yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty. I wish I could just touch it. I was like, look at the moon. So yeah, I can't wait to get this telescope because I'm gonna be looking at all the stars and showing my son the stars. I remember back in the day when, you know, we were being taught about slavery and Harriet Tubman and stuff and the Big Dipper, ouch. The 
the Big Dipper and all those stars and stuff. I used to see them. I used to see them. Now, I do not. I rarely see stars. Like, I'm just now starting to see stars again. And I'm, I don't know if I wasn't looking for them or, I don't know. Something's going on. So I'm going to say. Something is going on. But no, I did I order the telescope, so I can't wait for my telescope to come so I can see the moon and the stars and the sun and all that. So I'm gonna be taking, and this is called Best of Me, and this is like a cream, like a bright cream color. It's like a bright cream. I'll take this and pop it. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Pop it, pop it. So it looks like I can match in the year. It's my candy game. I would do a wing, but I don't have time to be upset. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on some, no, I'm not gonna put on the lashes. I am going to put on this dark eyeshadow I want to do. I wanna do this, this is like a, like a little smudgy look. So I'm gonna take this little brow brush from It Cosmetics. Give me a minute, one out the window. And just take that like right up here. Da, 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 da. Halfway though. Only halfway. Okay, so now I am going to take the light and just keeps on changing, baby. Sup? Why you in? Uh-uh. Dang. So I'm gonna be taking this, just a black eyeliner. I have not worn black eyeliner in so long, and I can't believe I'm putting on black eyeliner in the daytime, but Listen, actually, no, I'm not gonna put a black eyeliner. I'm gonna do brown, <laughs> to be on the safe side. I'm going to do brown, let me see what color this is. Oh, I'm gonna do this color, this is like a purple. So like purple, browns in that kind of family, like a cool tone brown or a cool tone purple brings out brown eyes. So I'm gonna put this in so I can bring out these big brown eyes I got. No, 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 can you, can you do it? So I might go in with a little bit brown. Let me see how it looks. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going with the brown just a little bit underneath. Like that. Ooh, baby, I ain't had no eyes like this in a minute. Here comes the mailman. Bring me my telescope. Bring me my telescope. I honestly cannot believe that it's taking me this long to do my makeup. Uh, I'm just chilling, taking my time though. Okay, so I got my lashes on now. I'm going to do my face and I already have my skincare and stuff on. So I'm about to just put my foundation on now. I think I do want to put on like a like the black girl sunscreen, but sometimes it don't look good under my makeup and I want my makeup to kind of look good today. And this color is a little bit lighter, I feel like, cause I did get dark. I love doing my skincare and stuff and then putting on makeup because the makeup just moves so much better when you have a healthy base. I remember when I would just try, I wanted my face, my skin was so oily, so I would, um, I would really try to avoid like products that had oil in them. I wouldn't use primer, which I still really don't use primer, but, um, I wouldn't use primer, moisturizer, nothing. I would like try to keep my face as dry as possible and wonder why my face would just look so like caked up. That's because the makeup was just sitting. It had nothing to move on. It was just sitting there. So, yeah. Now that I got my foundation on, I'm gonna be taking the same concealer that I used to prime my lids and I'm just gonna be putting that under these little eyes. I don't know why I'm putting all of this concealer. Now I'm just about to set where I put the concealer and this is the, believe it or not, the banana, midnight banana powder. Which I have not used this in so long, but I just like it that it does give like the brightening. Keeps the brightening feature there for you. 
going to be taking the Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar Face Palette and uh, it looks like a bit. This is gold right here. You can't really see it because of the lighting, but this is a gold color. These are contour colors, so I'm going to be taking this and just contouring my little face here. Warm it up. Which I love this color so much. It's just like the perfect color. I love like a orangey red tint to my contour. I'm not really a cool contour color. I know that cool makes it look a little bit more natural, but I just, I don't know, I like the color that it gives me. It just gives me like the, a bronzy type feel. You see, look at that. You look good. Okay, so I got that finished, my face finished, I think. So now I'm gonna go in with the same palette, but I'm gonna use this deeper color just to deepen up. Going like the hollows, like the where the darkness would normally hit, I'm gonna use that for that. Just to kind of, look at that. You know, I already have, my cheekbones are already kind of like defined. I do have like high cheekbones, but you know, there's nothing wrong with a little more illusion. You know, a little illusion. Take the same palette and I'm gonna use the highlight color in it to highlight me. This is the gold color. I'm gonna take that, put it just like where I wanna go. Ooh, I need to put some blush on first. So for blush, I'm gonna use the Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Lighter Palette and this is also from Beauty Bakery. So this is what the color looks like like this, they have shimmer in them. Very pretty, very cute. So I'm gonna take um, 24 hour champagne diet and this is like the lighter pink, I'm gonna try that. So let's see, I oh, know, actually I'm gonna do sip sip, sip sip hooray. Let me just see how it looks. Okay, likey, 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 I like it. Very pretty. Has a little sheen to it. Very pretty. So I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna do the other side real quick. And it gave me this, which is very pretty, but I'm gonna go back in with this gold highlighter and put a little bit on my cheeks just to bring the, the melanin back into my skin. Cause that one had like a little pink, kind of like highlight to it. And I'm more of like a golden champagne type highlight shot it low type girl for lips this is always my the, the hardest thing actually i'm gonna use mascara this is the lash freak by urban dk which i put this on my i did use this yesterday on my natural lashes and y'all it, it, it worked my natural lashes were so defined and long i think i got these lashes on backwards but hey for my lips, I'm gonna be taking the Chestnut Lip Pencil by MAC, and it is the Tiana Taylor collection that she has with MAC. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna line my lips. My nose is running, I took all my supplements, and so when you are cleaning out the mucus and stuff out of your body, your nose tends to run, so my nose is running because I'm getting rid of all the toxins. My body got rid of them toxins. Woo, woo, sports are the toxin. So I'm taking chestnut, lip pencil, line my lips. So I'm going to take this Gonna Love Me lip gloss, and this is from the Tiana Taylor collection. And it's like a pink, like a nude pink. A pearly pink. Oh, that's what that looks like. But I do want to take a, another gloss. And this is from the Tiante collection. And this is, but I ain't got no manners. It's going top. This reminds me of Explicit from my.
This was so simple, so easy. I don't know why my looks always come out so simple and so easy when I really think that I'm doing something. Maybe because I don't be doing cut creases and stuff. Just gonna go in here like this a little bit just to color it a little bit more. <clears throat> now I'm seeing. What's up? I'm about to leave out now. Okay. You finished getting dressed? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I gotta go do my hair because look at my hair. It looks, it's just got makeup all in it, makeup on my edges, and it's just not. Let me right back. Let me go get let me go get my stuff together. Okay, so the look is complete. It's finished. This is the final look. Very natural, everyday type. Where, um, yeah. Entanglement, since when you're tangled in the street, black women glow different. Did they lie? Did they lie? So let me just scoot back. Let me show y'all the whole little fit. Just got on some little shorts. So yes, final look. I know I'm not really that good at talking videos because I get so sidetracked and I don't finish my makeup. But I do wanna get to a point to where I can just sit and talk through a video without listening to music and not get bored. So that means y'all gotta send me some topics so I can run my mouth on specific topics and not just what my mind is thinking because sometimes what I'm thinking, y'all might not wanna talk about. So send me some topics. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope y'all like it. Slide on me and no homies. I see her in town, cooling by your lonely. Hurry, I'll take my day.